Hey guys, a lot of you guys have been asking for an update on my locks. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing for the past month or at least since the beginning of November. So after two combs, this one broke on me and this one. This is my last lock. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing. I take a bottle of water and I kind of miss the end. As you can see, it's fully locked. I'm gonna take the wide part of my comb and I'm kinda just gonna comb it out. A lot of this is dead hair, obviously. It's shed hair. So I've been losing a lot of hair, but that's expected because I will be almost three years locked in February. So, lately I've been on a journey of wanting loose ends. And this is how I create my loose ends. I've always wondered why is it that we don't see that many people with goddess locks. I'm not talking about faux locks, but I'm talking about with real natural locks you don't see that as often so I decided that I wanted to kind of test it out and see how can I achieve that look with my own locks without having full locks or installing full locks I've always liked my curly ends and one day <laughs> I decided to take a comb and kind of just comb out the end. And I saw how easy it was to do. And so I kept going to probably about two inches in length. I decided that I was going to gradually comb out my ends a few locks at a time. So since the first week of November, I started taking about four to five locks at a time each day and I would comb those out. Cause really that's all as much time as I had. Depending on the lock, since I have so many different variations of texture, textures in my hair, depending on the lock will determine how far I decide to go up with some locks. I've probably done halfway with some, probably only a quarter of the length of the hair I'll comb up. But I've noticed that I've had a lot of shedding. I've had a lot of lint in my locks. I didn't realize I had so much lint, especially on the locks that touch my back. So the longer locks had more lint on the ends. So it was something I learned. What I'll do sometimes for one day, I will probably watch a Netflix movie, which will tend to last for about an hour and 30 minutes. And I can probably get about eight to nine locks combed out, maybe 10, 10 the max during a movie, a Netflix movie. This much has been combed out here. So what I usually do is I will fill the length of the hair. I'll actually cut off the thinnest part of the end. Cause I'm not gonna miss it. So then I have this much that's loose. And then I'll take my water with the hair. <laughs> And luckily I didn't throw away any of my hair products from when I was a loose natural. So I found the As I Am smoothing gel. It looks tore up <laughs> on the outside. That tells you how long I've had this product. I take a dabble, what I have left of it. I look for any product that has like a gel consistency or anything that's going to help create my curl and I kind of just smooth it in like this. Do, do, do. 
I'm just gonna let the hair curl up on its own as you can see it's doing its thing. And then I leave it be. So now I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like all around. Someone asked me on IG, did I cut off my locks or did I comb out all my locks? No, I did not comb out all my locks. Just the end. This is more a trial and error just to see, can I achieve goddess locks with real locks? And what does that look like? What does the maintenance look like with that? Because obviously, loose hair is different. It's a different process. So I'm gonna try and do a closer up so you guys can really see what's going on here. My locks. observations that I've noticed when it comes to having loose ends when you have locks. I started this process in the beginning of November. If you do not keep up with your ends as far as like you wash them but you don't pull them or you don't comb them they will lock back up. So I had a few that started locking back up and so I would have to pull them apart or comb them out. Also this is going to require maintenance. I do not recommend um, combing out your ends if you do not want to invest time in taking care of your locks. And what do I mean by that? If you want locks and you want carefree, don't want to have to worry about doing your hair or anything like that, then you don't want to have loose ends because this is more for those who do not mind adding additional product to the ends of your hair and actually treating the ends of your hair differently. So not only are you doing a retwist to your roots, you're also doing your own little maintenance to your ends because you have to do something different with that. You have to treat your ends as if it's loose natural hair. That's if you want to keep it up. So this is only half that's been combed out. As you can see, you can see lint in it which is not cool, <laughs> it's not fun to look at. And in this one, you actually see some of the combs, pieces that broke off into the hair. I wanted to make sure that I at least checked in with you guys at least one more time before the end of this year. I know I have been inactive on this platform. I'm trying to come back gradually come back. Let me know in the comment section down below how you're doing. Check in. I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time you guys, bye-bye.